What's up guys, welcome back to Latin Chopsticks. Thank you so much for tuning in. I cannot wait guys. Today, the place that me and my wife are going to is gonna blow you guys' mind. So it's a place that I actually found out about around four months ago. I'm not really sure how long it's been around. I've never been to this place before, but ever since I heard of what it is, I've been dying to go and me and my wife have been trying to set some time aside so we could actually go there together because I didn't want to go there without her. Uh, with that said, the place we're going to today is called Gukaku. And I'm not 100% sure if I'm pronouncing it, that, uh, pronouncing that right, but it is a Japanese all-you-can-eat barbecue place. And it opened here in Orlando. Like I said, I'm not sure how long, but I think if it's been around for a long time, I should have known about it. But I'll try to find out later on, and I'll try to list it in the, in the description below. With that said, uh, it's pretty pricey. It's almost double the price of that of the Korean barbecue places. But I, honestly, I, I looked over the menus. They have three different menus. They have a, uh, I think it's called like a premium. They have an ultra and they have like this huge amount where it has like over 30 different choices of, of meat, of, um, of beef. They have like 10 different choices of, of chicken and like they have a whole bunch of stuff, seafood and all that stuff. And then their basic menu still has like 10 to 15, I think, I believe it was like beef options, like three different chicken options, three or four different pork options. They have some seafood. They have a whole bunch of different appetizers, like 10 of them. They have like five, and this is the basic menu. So I'm really excited. They do apparently do the all you can eat in phases uh, where they have it like a specific month. They'll do it all the time. Sometimes they'll do it Monday through Friday. So you really do have to check the website whenever you're gonna go to this place. With that said, I mean, just looking over the menu, my mouth watered. My wife was like, oh, we gotta go there. So this is it guys, the video's finally here. Let's go ahead and check out this all you can eat Japanese barbecue place. All right, guys, we are here. We made it. It is a very long wait, like a 30 to 45 minute wait because we didn't make reservations coming in uh, since we weren't sure what time we were going to be able to come in. But with that said, we just looked over the menu. It looks absolutely amazing, delicious, and all the options are just mind boggling. Um, me and her talked today, and I think we're going to go with the medium one, which is $55 per person. You do have a 90 minute time limit um to order and eat and cook but oh man it, it's like i wasn't even that hungry until we got here and they op like we opened the door and came inside the smell it smells so good and in all honesty the way the restaurant looks inside it really reminds us of when we were back in japan so i'm really excited for this all right guys we finally made it it took uh it actually only took like 25 minutes to get sit down sit uh, seated the only issue that we had is one, we had to uh, have the manager call the owner to make sure that we can record. And then the other thing is, we were trying this entire time to try to find the right angle so you guys can kind of see the food while I'm talking to you and, and doing the whole video. I'm gonna try to focus a lot more on using the phone today while I'm cooking and talking and stuff like that because I really want you guys to see the experience. It is a little bit different, so the way this grill is, it's actually a grass, uh, gas grill instead of a charcoal grill, which is what I thought it was. However, even though it's a gas grill, it's really cool because there's nothing above it. The, basically what they said is the tables themselves, let me show you on this table on the bottom, it has the extractor under, so while the food's cooking and stuff, instead of the smoke going up, it gets sucked down as you're cooking the different foods. So yeah, pretty excited. Um, we ordered quite a lot right off the bat. Usually they limit the order to two per person. Um, but she was actually nice enough because of how long we've been waiting and things like that to order everything at once. Oh, thank you very much. So our first item came out is our appetizers. These are the cheese wontons. We're gonna go ahead and take a look at them. They smell really good. 
and we're starving. So let's go ahead and get started with this. This is one of the first appetizers in a very long list. So as you guys can see, these are the cheese wontons. They just came out. Oh my God, they're hot to the touch. So it's probably gonna be really hot to try. We have some sweet chili sauce here. We're gonna go ahead and, or sweet and sour sauce, I believe. All right, we're gonna go ahead and try it out first. Let's try it out. All right, let's see if this is as good as they say. I'm gonna get to the middle. Hold on one second. Mm. All right, so this is basically like a crab rangoon. It just doesn't have crabs. So it's literally just cream cheese and I think green onion, and that's literally it, but it's so delicious. And check the inside, it's pretty full, pretty packed. So the inside's pretty packed. Even though I bit it down, it's all completely melted, so I kind of accidentally ate it all. But even then, the outside is so nice, so crunchy, and then the inside's so creamy. And then you get that sweet and sour that just kind of cuts a layer through the richness because it's a little bit sour. It is so delicious, guys, I'm telling you. Definitely 100% worth it. Mm. Now, while we were trying that, we did get the next appetizer. You get this nice little cute deep bowl of miso soup. It's nice and colorful. I had to move it up a little bit. Just kind of like last week's. It has little pieces of tofu in it. But we're gonna go ahead and get some of this broth with the green onion. Let it cool down, let's try it out. All right guys, let's go ahead and dig in. Oh my God. Wow, that's so flavorful. Once again, the miso taste for me is good. But in all honesty, sometimes they just over, take it over the top and it's just so much that you can't taste anything else. With this, you get that miso flavor. But you also taste the little crunchy pieces of the green onion. It balances itself really, really well. Oh my God, that's so freaking good. I'm really impressed so far. I can't wait for the freaking meats, guys. Some of the meats that we ordered, I'm gonna get the menu because I can't remember off the top of my head. But for us, since we went and did the ultimate, which is the middle, the middle option, um, we have a few extra options. So instead of getting white rice, we ordered garlic fried rice and beef fried rice for us. We ordered something that I'm really interested in called fried bacon chips. So apparently it's like bacon that's fried and then it's battered and deep fried. <laughs> Can't wait to try that. We ordered as well filet mignon for us and we ordered a skirt steak and a beef tongue order. So I can't wait to try those meats out. And then we're gonna go with the regular meats like the Toro beef, Shabu beef. We'll see, cause they did mention to us that their like meat orders are pretty big, so we'll see. Um, with that said, so far for the appetizers, that's all we got. We are gonna get dumplings later on, but right now we're just gonna deal with this. Enjoy this and go from there. Bring whatever's ready because it's a tag. Yeah, yeah, sure. We have a beef tongue here with some lemon on the side. Awesome. And I got this for steak miso marinade. So these are both beef that grow between 30 to 60 seconds because they could be medium for a while. Gotcha. Got it, thank you. This is canola oil. Thank you very much. We should use a metal tongue to grill and it's ready, it's on the center. All right, will do, thank you very much. All right guys, we got the first order of meat. So this right here is gonna be the beef tongue. I'm super happy because it's, it's literally cooked, or I'm sorry, cut super thin. They went ahead and they put canola oil for us on the grill. Oh, you can hear that. Oh man, the sizzling. And then this is our their seasoned skirt steak. Now, since there is a time limit, she is bringing everything out as it's ready. So the table's gonna be pretty overcrowded, but I wanna go ahead and just start putting this on. She said to wait 60 seconds and then flip the meats and then only use the tongues here. Guys, this looks so good, but this is a lot quicker than the Korean barbecue place, in all honesty. I just put them down on the grill. I haven't even set up the plates or the sauces or anything, thinking it was gonna take a little bit, but the flame is really freaking strong on this. So it's like, I gotta be constantly paying attention, because if not, then we're gonna have the issue of like it overcooking, and then it might make the meat a little bit tough, and I don't wanna misjudge the meat. Also, it seems like the sides are hotter than the actual, it seems like the sides are actually hotter than the, than the center of the grill. So the center of the grill, even though there's flames, the flames are strong around the sides. So that's cool. They also have the bacon chips. They finally came out. So these are the bacon chips while we're finishing up the steaks. I just had one right before, but you get a little bit of salt you can put on there because it's a lot of fat. And it's basically deep fried, but it looks so good. Look how greasy it is. You got the little flaky salt on there. You got a little bit of lemon. Let's see if we can put this down. Squeeze just a bit of lemon. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and dig in. All right. Oh my goodness, that lemon cuts right through it so well. All right, the meat is actually ready. I like myself, my meat a little bit burnt because it gives a little bit of a charred taste. You guys know this, you guys have seen my other videos. So 
I'm getting some pieces ready to give to my wife first. I'll go ahead and have her try it and see what she thinks. But oh my goodness gracious, guys. First thing we're gonna try is the tongue, no sauce or anything. I wanna try it just the way it is without salt or anything like that. All right, so this is the beef tongue. Just gonna go ahead and try it out. It's a little bit pink still. I don't like cooking it well done because then it gets extremely tough. But we're gonna go ahead and try this little piece here and see how it is. All right guys, beef tongue time. Mm. Tender. It is tender. It has really beautiful, delicious taste. It's almost like, I don't want to compare them, but it is almost, because of the marbleization of this tongue, it almost tastes like Wagyu, but it's not Wagyu, obviously. But just so you guys know, there is options to get Wagyu um, as a separate option. Um, it's like $60 per order if you wanted to try it while you were here. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get some of the skirt steak. Oh, that looks so delicious. It's nice, sweet, and tender. Just charred on the outside. You have some of the pieces here. Ooh, look at that. And then we're gonna go ahead and dip it in their sombu sauce, which is their home. Thank you very much. Also about 45 to 60 seconds to a minute. Okay. Just a minute and a half, I'm sorry. Because it needs a Alright, perfect. Thank you very Thank much. You. All right. All right. They're giving us the instructions of the Fum Lang Mignon on their grill. But alright, we're gonna go ahead and try this piece out. Look at that. A little charred pieces. You got the little fattiness. It's about medium done. So medium raw, I would say. Let's try it. All right. If we could, we would come here every day. You got a little lemon on the grill there. Finish up the miso soup here. Okay. All right, so here she's mixing up the garlic fried rice. It came out on a stone plate, which is still extremely hot. If you guys can see, it's still sizzling there. And this is, all right. And then there's the beef fried rice that they went ahead and brought out. I'm mixing it up right then and there. That's really, really cool. So we have these two servings that we could serve on our plate. I'm not gonna lie, they're a lot bigger than I thought. <laughs> Guys, I haven't had beef tongue. I'm not exaggerating. In over 10 years. This made the weight worth it, man. And then these last few ones, I made them so crispy. They're almost like bacon, but like beef bacon. Mm. All right, guys, these are the filet mignon pieces. They're very bite-sized, so that's good. Makes them quick, cook a little bit quicker. This is the beef skirt of what's left. I'm about to start pulling those out. But it is really, really hot. This place cooks a lot quicker. And in all honesty, it tastes so much better because of the smoke in comparison to the Korean barbecue place. I still love the Korean barbecue place, but this just, this brings it to a whole nother level. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and try the beef fried rice. You get these tiny little pieces of thinly sliced beef right mixed in with that rice. So you guys saw that they were pretty much cooking and mixing up while we were here. So we're gonna go ahead and try a little bit. Mm. The rice is nice, it's sweet. You get those pieces of caramelized onion. Mm. And then the meat itself is a little salty. Perfect balance. You get some of that skirt steak, put it in their signature ponzu sauce. Mm. My goodness, it tastes so quick and delicious. I think I found my new favorite Japanese restaurant in Orlando. All right, I'm gonna come clean, guys. I bit my lip, so if I start eating funny, I apologize. <laughs> I bit it really, really, really bad. <laughs> All right, guys, we have the pieces of the film Lei Ming Young here. We cooked them, honestly, she said 60 seconds, but we cooked them a little bit longer now, probably like two, three minutes. But still, they're at that point that I really, really like them. So we're gonna go ahead and try it out, see how it is. Let's go ahead and dip it in the ponzu sauce, which is your signature sauce. It kind of tastes like, honestly, it tastes like garlic, ginger, and soy sauce. All right, guys, let's go ahead and try that out. Mm. It's soft, it's tender. But because the flame is so strong, the outside has this amazing layer of like crunchiness. But then when you bite down, it gets so soft, so tender, it almost melts in your mouth. Mm. Dip it into a little bit of the flaky salt that came with our bacon. Mm. And it's literally perfection. All right, my wife told me that we needed to get some of the garlic fried rice because she said it's really, really good. It has some caramelized onion as well, but the basic aspect of it is just the garlic and the egg. So you, you can see the layer of the fried egg in there that was sitting at the bottom. 
it cooked really well, the yolk. You get some green onion pieces, but we're gonna go ahead and try a little bit of some onion. Let's try this out. Let's see if I can get a little bit of a, a larger portion here. Oh, it's falling apart. All right, there we go. Let's go ahead and try this out. All right, garlic fried rice. Mm. Oh my God, that's so good. Oh my God. It's amazing because the garlic is there. It's apparent, but it's not overwhelming. You get that creaminess of the egg, the saltiness from the soy sauce, the sweetness from the caramelized onion. Mm. And it all comes together so well. Personally, I like the beef one just because it's sweet, but mm, this is really good as well. All right, guys, they finally served just the gyoza. So this is fried pork gyoza. We have the gyoza sauce on there. We go ahead and, wow, it's really nice and crunchy. Let's go ahead and get that, dip it in that sauce, and let's go ahead and try it out. All right, pork gyoza. Mm. That sauce is soy sauce with like a concentrate of green onion flavor. Wow, that's really good. And the gyoza themselves, they're pretty good. The inside is honestly very basic. It is ground pork, I believe water chestnuts, green onions, and a little bit of cabbage. It's like the outside is nice and warm, very, very crunchy, but then the inside is just like really soft, molten lava hot. <laughs> um, Temperature-wise, pork. Definitely, definitely get it again, though. All right, guys, so right now we put all of our pork belly down. Nice and hot. We're gonna put some of our New York strip. She said the best place to put it, like I mentioned earlier, is the outer edges. Now, the steak, <clears throat> the New York steak, has garlic, like pressed garlic onto it, as well as sesame seeds, so I can guarantee the flavor of that's gonna be absolutely out of this world. All right. And then here we have some short ribs that we're gonna go ahead and put. These are beef short ribs. We're gonna go ahead and put, let's turn this one around, make sure the beef side down. My wife's saying it's like, look how it's melting almost. The fat and all that because of the flames. <laughs> Guys, I cannot say this enough. This place is amazing. It's way better than I already thought it was gonna be. All right guys, so we ordered broccoli with cheese. You gotta check this out. So the broccoli is raw and the cheese is in cubes. So the cheese itself is in nice cubes. Literally, we just put it straight on the grill. And then here is the broccoli right nicely wrapped up. We're gonna just put it right on there as well. We got some meat on the other side. We're about to pull out, but this cheese is gonna melt and we're gonna go ahead and get the broccoli and we're gonna dip it into the cheese and that's how we're gonna do this. I've never had to do that before, so this is gonna be like the freshest possible way of doing this. And the cheese is already melting, it's almost like butter. The short rib, nice, toasted on the outside, tender. We're gonna use some of that sweet soy sauce. Mm. Oh my gosh, look at that. You can see that hard outer layer. And then the filling in the inside is still kind of raw. Oh my God. Mm. And some of this really nice charred pork belly. Mm. Mm. It almost tastes like bacon. And there's some of that lemon on there. Like the lemon to cut through the richness of the fat. Oh my God. Right, look at that cheese, it's already melting. It's nice and boiling. This garlic infused freaking broccoli is getting ready. We're cooking the last few pieces of our New York steak with our short ribs. Oh my goodness gracious. Absolutely delicious. And like the only thing that came frozen out of everything we ordered was the beef tongue. And it's because it was cut so thinly. Like. If they hadn't brought it frozen, it would have fallen apart when I tried to pick it up, which is exactly what happened when I tried to cook the second batch. I'm actually gonna get the clean tongs that I never use. Just kinda like mix the cheese around so it doesn't get stuck to the bottom and help break it down. But wow, that's gonna be some really good cheese. 
Can't wait. All right, last but not least, we're gonna have this broccoli. Check it out, we're gonna go ahead and dip it in this cheese that's nice and melted now. Oh, it fell apart. All right, that's fine. We're gonna have this little piece here. Oh man, that looks so good. All right, we're gonna go ahead and try it now. Mm. Okay, I see what it is. So basically the cheese is Velveeta cheese. That's why it looked that way. Oh man. I'm trying to get my wife to try it, but she didn't like the way the cheese looks, so now she's like super against it. Baby, you want some? No. All right guys, we finished eating. Oh my goodness, now what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna be ordering a little bit of the desserts, which is really cool because they have multiple options, especially because we got the second option. So they have two flavors of ice cream as all you can eat. They have vanilla and green tea. They also have uh, an order of s'mores, which is just two pieces of s'mores. So we're gonna have one of each and see how that goes. Actually, Julie says she wants both flavors of ice cream. So we're gonna order all that. And then after that, we're gonna be all set. So I'll see you guys in a little bit when the desserts come out. All right, guys, we're finally done. So they brought over the two desserts that we ordered. We got some s'mores, which is really cool. We're gonna get to make them on the grill itself. And then we have two balls of ice cream here. I'm gonna show you each one. All right, so the ice cream first, we have green tea ice cream and vanilla ice cream. Let's go ahead and try the vanilla ice cream first. Oh yeah. And let's try this out. All right. Mm. It's pretty good. Nice, cool way to end it. And then we got ourselves here some of the green tea ice cream. Let's try this out. I don't think my wife's gonna like this, but we'll see. We haven't had this in Japan. And then the green tea. I like it a lot. I love green tea. My wife doesn't though, so we'll see how she likes this. So I'll go ahead and hand it over to her. But now the really cool, interesting part here. The s'mores you actually have to make yourself on the grill, as I mentioned. So we're gonna go ahead and build it here first, and then I'll turn on the camera and we'll show how it is afterwards. So let's get it ready to assemble. We're gonna get the marshmallow and we're gonna go ahead and roast it right now. Some of that flame on the marshmallow itself. It's cool though. I thought it was gonna be faster, it's not. So we're just gonna have to do this old fashioned way and I'll show you guys once it's done. All right guys, it seems like it's ready. Let me show you. So we got the marshmallow to puff up a bit. So we're gonna go ahead and place it on the chocolate and then use the other cracker to close it up. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that here. And then we're gonna get the other cracker and put it right on top. And we got some nice, delicious, fresh made s'mores. Oh, that looks so good. What a way to end this, man. This is one of the best barbecue places I've ever been to. It's my wife and I's brand new favorite of all time, all you can eat restaurants in all of Orlando. And I personally would say in all of Florida, but guys, thank you so much for joining us. I hope you appreciate the video. I hope you guys liked it, but until next time, let's just keep on eating.